Hey everyone, Tragic MTG here again with another lot. Uh, this one is from a Goodwill, uh, the one from San Francisco, and but this was for their eBay uh, store. Um, ended up paying 480 and some shipping. Let's call it 493. Um, one thing that I really liked about this lot is that they laid out uh, pretty much everything so that you could see it. Uh, and then the one thing that I did not like about this lot is that they laid everything out so you could see it. So that basically makes it um, in an auction where everyone can see what they're getting. Um, you can really f look uh, close if you want and kind of count these all up and see exactly what you're getting. Um, in here, if you look real close, are some pretty nice goodies. And then some other stuff that's actually all weaved through that's not that exciting. Um, you can see there's a nice big one right there. So that's kind of what we're going for here. Um, kind of want to leave a little bit of mystery just for you guys uh, as I go through this. Um, anyone who saw this auction and bid on it would have looked really close and hopefully seen some good stuff. That's kind of what I did. Um, honestly, I'm surprised it went for this amount. Um, this was um, just under where my maximum would have been. Uh, I didn't want to go... Uh, really much more than that um, and the main reason for that is that here uh, in the listing the goodwill of San Francisco they do tell you uh, that there's near mint slightly played and moderately played cards so that's really where the gamble is here is what's the condition on a lot of this stuff um, if it's all near mint, all near mint then we're golden um, it's probably not gonna be I'm not expecting it to be the other thing too I'm a little suspicious um, I've actually gotten hosed by the Goodwill of San Francisco before. Uh, I would not buy lots from them that look uh, rubber banded together with uh, older cards on the top because when you get them, they're going to be one older card and newer cards in a stack underneath it, a bunch of commons. So I actually had resolved not to buy from them anymore, but this lot is pretty interesting. So I'll go through. The pictures here real quick you can pause and see that there's some goodies in there i actually kind of want to keep a little bit of mystery um, for when i open this up so uh, as always i'm gambling here um, hopefully i can break at 493 and then some um, and we'll see how we do let's open the box all right here's the box from e-commerce department in San Francisco, right? So, how good is this gonna turn out? I think a lot of those like baubles and the dark steel ingots, to me, that seemed like something that Goodwill themselves might have thought was good and wanted to include in this lot. This, it didn't really feel like to me that this was a binder that would be put together by a, a serious collector. Uh, it almost seems like these are good cards that came into Goodwill over time and they had just been collecting them in this binder. I'm not sure. Um, like Azorius Chancery here. Like, I don't know if you would really put that on the same page here as a Worms of the Earth and a Lord of Atlantis. It's just not organized to me like what a collector or a player would do um, so so far look like they're in pretty good condition we got a card from the dark here necropolis not sure if that's a big one or not there's a mind slaver um, got some legend stuff I'm not expecting to see anything really stand out from legends got some cards and sleeves there's a proteus staff I think there were a couple that I had seen and right here I had seen there was, I think, more than one Horizon Canopy. Come on, let's get in focus here. Um, so there's your little sneak peek. I got a lot to go through on this binder. Um, I'm going to total it all up like I always do and see what I end up with. Um, but just right off the bat here, this stuff looks like it's in pretty good condition. So that's better than what I was hoping for already. So I'll be back soon to go through this properly. Stick around. Okay, everyone, scanning time. Uh, I'm gonna take these out of the sleeves so that they're easier for me to deal with. Um, and I've got 
Uh, my bar set a little bit higher this time. I've got the pricing set to TCG player low price. Um, some people have pointed out that TCG market and mid are uh, not realistic prices. I agree. And I do put that information down in my frequently asked questions basically on the every video. But this time I'm going to see how is it actually going to end up if I do set all of this for the low price. And uh, so we can get a pretty accurate description of what it is. And if something is obviously not near mint, I'm going to change it to um, the appropriate condition and see how accurate I can get on my grading, pricing, and list. Um, I'm going to drop down my minimum. Let's go to 50 cents. Um, so anything under 50 cents will not be on the list. Anything over 50 cents will. Um, and hope to break even at least at 493 and then some. Let's find out. Here's a darkness from Time Shifted. 449. Oh, that's the Legends version. It is not that one. It's Time Shifted. Still 499 for a common. And that's TCG Player Low. Um, new feature on the TCG Player app too is that you can sort by um high to low you can see a little a to z there that's actually really good for me because it's some a feature that was on delver lens uh, but was never on this app so i'm really happy to see that it actually makes life easier for me i can show this off at the end of all the big hits i got so anyway enough rambling here we go with some scanning hey another darkness thing we're on our way boy mage apprentice is not gonna well i mean i'll scan it no of course not so that comes right back off uh yep nope that's not gonna count the simic growth chamber is probably not gonna be 50 cents uh no i don't think any of the printings are gonna be that's what i'm talking about with this binder it's it's odd i don't know i can't tell if this was a goodwill um put together binder oh 75 cents i'm gonna count it uh let's see we got a five dollar pile we got a not so much like a under a buck pile Lord of Atlantis from 5th edition. That's a decent little card right there. Four, uh, okay, we'll change it to the 5th. Let's see. Five bucks there. We'll show that one off too. There we go. Uh, Glyph of Life from Legends um, is uh, just common. And it is only 10 cents. I'm actually going to pull this card. Um, I'll make a special pile pile for under 50 cents, but it's still it's interesting enough that I would not just throw that in my bulk box, right? Those are gonna go to the bulk box. Hydroblast, another fifth edition card, 72 cents. We can go right there. Chancery, no. Worms of the Earth got two of these and a Necropolis. So cards from the dark. Uh, not big ones, but it is a rare from the dark. So those are winners in my book. We're going to get two of those. And a, a necropolis, which I think is just an uncommon from the dark. So not going to count for, oops, can't pick it up. Uh, my piles other than an old interesting card pile, right? So it's going to come right back off. Okay. First page away. I got 20 bucks already and I got a lot more pages. So here we go, next page. Um, yeah, some good stuff on this one. Got them sleeved up. Just pull them straight out of the sleeves. Mystic Snake. Mind Slaver. And a Horizon Canopy, wow. I think there was going to be a hopefully more than one, maybe two or three Horizon Canopies in this binder from looking at the pictures of Raised Dead, another Mystic Snake. I think we're going to maybe, I think we're going to at least break even on, even on the low price. Kerr Keep. Hidetsugo. So far, everything's in really good condition. Brushland, that's solid. Rocks War Monk. Oops. A char. Maybe like a buck or less. Or maybe more. I don't know. Am I wrong? Am I right about that or am I wrong about that? 
Proteus Staff, that one has gone up a bit lately, so it's good to see those. Alright, so I'm going to save some commentary for when I actually scan these up. See, the sign odds are good. Alright. Okay, we got a seat of the Synod. It's been reprinted a few times. And it is not going to count, but it is a card that I will pull. It'll buy a list for a little bit. Hidetsugo's second right is a bulk rare. Not going to be on the list, but I'll pull it. Char from Ravnica. Uh, another one's been reprinted. Round the conversion, not enough. There it goes. Um, pull it to the bulks. Brushland from 10th edition. That's decent. Yep, five bucks there. So we'll put that over there. Magus of the Future. 99 cents. That's a keeper. Proteus Staff. Yep, 689 as a TCG low. Not bad. Kerr Keep. Buck 85, another Magus, two more Maguses, one, two, bink, bink, and another Kirkheap being right there, two of those. Mystic Snake from Time Shifted, probably not, um, yeah, Time Shifted version, 44 cents almost, but uh, it's got to be 50 cents. I'm going to pull that one too for a buy list. Raise Dead from Revised Edition. And can it see it? Um, yep, yeah, that's that's one that's not going to be on the list. But as a revised common, yeah, it's got a little play to it. I will pull it away over there. But this one, Horizon Canopy, and this is in near mint condition. I would not downgrade that at all. Sixty-eight ninety-nine, our first big hit of this collection right there. Um, it's great. I think there might even be another one in this binder. We'll find out later. Mind Slaver. That Scars of Mirrodin? Yeah, three bucks there. Great. Uh, another Mystic Snake, which was over there. A Yavamaya Coast might be 50 cents. Yeah, it's a little bit more. 88 cents. Great. Awesome. All right. Next page from the binder. Pull them all out. So what do we get? Uh, let's just do it like this. I didn't closely scrutinize everything in this in this listing pictures, um, so some of this will still be a surprise to me. And I, I'm pretty confident I'll be able to squeeze enough value out of here. Okay. Another Magus of the future. So the fact that there were four of these or so um, spread out through just a couple pages, it's weird. It doesn't seem like something that Goodwill would do. It would be more, a little more random than that. But they definitely, whoever built this binder was throwing Wayfarer's bo Bobbles into a binder with Horizon Canopies and other stuff that's all over the place. It just doesn't feel like a collection or even a trade binder for that matter. So Wayfarer's Bobble as a fifth edition or fifth dawn common is uh, still, it's not bad. Get rid of some of these. Um, 38 cents, it's something that I pulled to try to buy list, but it's not going to go on the list. Draw new, Lich Lord, 95 cents, that's fine, there's, there's another one, scan that one too, Bink Bink, Wits End from Dissension, 10 cents only, so that's definitely a bulk, that comes right back off. Megas of the Mirror. A lot of these might end up being, yeah, bulk rares. Conspiracy version. Can't imagine that the uh, Time Spiral version is going to be much more. Yeah, seven cents on the low. Whoops. So, the Anne Havocosable from 5th edition. I don't know if that's even a rare or not. 
it technically is a rare so I'm gonna pull it and it doesn't have a gold logo on it so that makes it a little tough trick bind this is an okay card yeah 380 for the low on that it's great mirror matrix from dark steel there's a buck there okay getting coming right along bitter ordeal I love the feature site uh, alternate borders um, only because you don't see them that often not because it's really that great but it's cool 699 that's great I didn't know about that card I didn't see it in the listing when I poured through the pages so um, luckily even for me there's a lot gonna be a lot of surprises in here hopefully buck 99 on the surge spanner uh, Hypnox this is a bulk right yeah yes it is pulse of the draw so I don't think those are gonna be much nope uh, let's see here mind over matter wow you cannot go wrong with that 18 bucks exodus reserve list card I'm trying to ruin it by picking it up here yeah um, I like that one pretty sure it's reserve list right that's a that's a hit prototype portal not so much uh, delusions of mediocrity not gonna be much either probably it's mediocre for sure chimeric mass nope and elemental resonance 25 cents there okay take these off and do the next page yeah that's there's okay stuff on this page too oh another horizon canopy this is amazing Let me do this. I get to take out all the stuff out of There's a lot in the sleeves here. Oh my gosh, there's there's both of them. Okay, got that page unsleeved. We got Beacon of Creation, buck fifty. I think there's one, two, three of those. Right? Okay, Birds of Paradise. Never go wrong with those. Different edition. Uh, man, it's been printed a bunch of times. Five thirty-nine. Great, not the weather light. This is a time shifted. Still about the same. 14. Great. Nimbus Maze. That's good. Uh, Mystic Snake was, I think, I'm going to pull it over there. Deep Sea Kraken. Uh, nope. Deep Sea Kraken, not going to make it. Brush Land again, and another Horizon Canopy. Um, this one right here, Horizon Canopy, great. Call of the Herd, no. It says, I don't know if it's rare, Gemstone Mine and another Horizon Canopy. And another Gemstone Mine. Nope, 
Mirror Battle Sphere. No, that one's not going to make it. Pulse of the Forge, and this one does have some play if it's worth anything. Yeah, it's not going to count anyway. It's just a bulk rare. And a Great Furnace. 30 cents only, but it is one that will buy list probably. Yep, 35 cents for the mirror. Then. Great. Uh, that's great. I had thought there was three of these in this binder, so there they are. Um, we're well on our way to breaking even, and we'll be done three, four pages. Here we go, more pages. Yeah, that looks pretty good too. All right, next page. These are all these were all double sided. So there's a Stormbind. I'd say that's an SP. Uh, not gonna count anyway, but it's a rare, so it's a bulk rare. Summer Bloom from Visions. Fifty cents. I'm gonna count it. Put it right there. It stays. Trade Roots from Eighth Edition. Not enough. Mouth of Ronom. Nope. That's an uncommon. It's going to be over there. Make sure, yeah. Summer Bloom. Yep, those count. Desert. Time shifted desert. Can't see it. Oh, all right. Add it. Desert. Bink. 50 cents. I think there's another one. No, there's two more, too. All right, there's a buck fifty in deserts right there. All right, Vesuva. <laughs> that's a good card. Twenty nine sixty six. That's the low. This thing's gone up quite a bit. Let's see here. That's the low price. See it there? The mid would have been thirty, and the market thirty four. So the trade in is twenty one on it. So. I'm just going by the low here. That's what it says. Uh, yeah, where did I put it? There's a Vesuva right there. Life from the Loam. A uh, different one. Let's see, the original. Ravnica, 1093 times two. Very nice. We're almost there. Wildfire. Not going to count. <laughs> Another Vesuva. Great. But bing There we go. Uh, that wildfire was nothing. Lightning Greaves. This should re register a bit. 672. There we go. Leaf Drake Roost. Probably not. Um, quicksand. Probably not. Can it see it? I don't think it. Yeah, no. And a Tower of Fortunes? No. Bulk. Alright. Next page. Uh, where is it? Okay. There's one good thing on this one. All right, 
right, Wildfire was under 50 cents. Seismic Assault got reprinted in Ultimate Masters. It's still 94 cents. Uh, and Life from the Loam. Another 10 bucks there. Uh, Stormbind, I think, right? We That was only 10 cents, yeah. Uh, Rakdos Carnarium, probably nothing. Pretty much, I don't think any of those are. Maybe the Demir one. Quicksand, no. Rakdos, no. Chancery, no. No. Whisper Silk Cloak might be. Nope. Not enough. I'm going to pull it anyway. Probably going to be a couple cents. Nope. That was it for that page. So, that's what I was talking about. Like, it seemed like there was a lot of stuff in here that looked thrown in. Um, like by someone who assumed this stuff was good, but I'm not sure. All of this stuff is in really good condition. If the Goodwill had been building a binder of, you know, good cards that they thought were good over time, a lot of this stuff would vary in condition. Um, so far all this stuff looks like it was mint, or near mint at least. So, happy about that. It's kind of a very strange mixture of cars, that's all. Alright, Stormbind was nothing. The Chanceries. Lurking Scourge from Urza's Legacy. Just a bulk rare. Nope, nope, nope. Clock of Omens. Nope. Oops. Uh, nope, and this, the cloak wasn't enough. All these dissension lands are really nothing. Nope, that was it for those. Okay, well, that goes quick. Uh, well. Another one with a bunch of lands. Just interesting, right? Got the is it ones here. Oops. Uh, okay, the bobble, was it going to be enough? I already forget. I think not. No, I think these were nothing. I'm just going to throw those over there. Anthroplasm, another legacy rare, which is nothing big. Uh, the Chancery, let me move this around over here. False Memories from Torment. Nothing big there. Freed from the real. 49 cents. I'm going to pull it, but I'm not going to count it. Just under 50 cents. That's the rule. Yep, freed from the real. Another freed from the real. But is it Boiler Works? I don't think any of these lands are really much of anything now. Uh, nope, freed from the real. Oh no, if only those were one cent more, there would have been six of them. Okay, next page. Oh, well this is a good page. You guys see anything good there? Oh my gosh. This was um, the one page that would have grabbed everyone's attention uh, looking at this listing. That's interesting. It's not all double-sided. Got one card in a 
sleeve. Okay. Okay. There's a good little stack right here. Golgari Signet. Not going to do it. Oops. Wrong pile. Doubling season. Very nice. I would still say that's near mint. It's got a couple little nicks on it. And at $49.95, it certainly is a hit. That is fantastic. And that breaks even for us at low price. So we still have, I don't know, 30 pages left to go through of this thing. I think this is going to pretty much be the best page. Um, the time bug is probably not going to do anything. A spell sky used to be a great card, and I think it's come down quite a bit. Uh, let's find the other edition. New Phyrexia 672. Um, there it goes there. Oh, that's a good one. And there's a foil mountain. Let's see if I can get that to register. 10th edition land. Foil. Yeah, it's. I can't tell it the Kamigawa version. I'm going to leave it at that. I'm sure it's 55 cents or so. A Wheel of Fortune from Revised and it is looking pretty sharp. Yeah, got a little nick there, but that I would I would confidently call this near mint. There's nothing wrong with the front of it. Um yeah, this this is just fine. Let's even get the scan. But being 83.49 for a Wheel of Fortune, we are now in the the positive there. It's great. It's great. Pride of the Clouds. Ah, uh, well, let's check it. Ascension, a buck 97 better than the preprint. And a Demonic Tutor, another revised. And this one's sharp. Totally sharp. This one is just fine. 20 bucks. Another solid keeper. Where do I put it? There we go. Demir House Guard. I don't think that's going to be anything. No. Mystical Tutor. From Mirage. Another. It's like perfectly near mint. Yeah. I was expecting um, this whole binder to be full of MP. Like really grubbed up cards. But this is absolutely not the case. All this stuff is in perfectly good condition, or, you know, almost perfectly good condition, right? I can't complain. A Shred Memory, just a common. Uh, it's a decent common. I might pull it and try to buy list it. Demir House Guard, no. Blood Moon, this one's from Chronicles, right? Yeah, so that one's got enough of a, a problem there, and it's actually, you can see it's a little bit bent. It's like a bender, binder. Um been there so i'm gonna with the mm, sp or mp it's enough of a little thing you can feel it there i'm gonna downgrade this all the way down to mp just because of this it's like a crease that's almost all the way through it so let's get it to recognize it first here come on blood moon not the dark chronicles 1490 okay look 1496 but I'm going to tell it that this is an moderately played. Yeah, so it didn't change the price on me. Um, we got to assume that it's going to be down like nine bucks or something, right? Okay, I'm calling it. Um, but it's going to stay on the list there like that. Uh, Windfall from Urza Saga as an uncommon is pretty decent. Yeah, buck, uh, different version. Only 99 cents, but it's okay. And a Chrome Mox. Solid. Whoops. Just throw that anywhere. Really clumsy today. Chrome Mox from Mirrodin. 28 bucks, and this one is... There's nothing wrong with this one, so... Uh, I'm feeling pretty good about this. I still got a lot left to go through. Um, definitely kind of already hit... A lot of the good stuff but um, I have to at the pause right here clear this board and come back to it another time
All right, let's get this out of here. Okay, I finally have time to continue going through this binder. Um, it's actually been a few days. You can actually see that the uh, prices have um, um, fluctuated a bit. They've gone up a little bit in that amount of time. I'm not sure exactly what went up so much. Uh, let me try sorting this by high to low. Um, I think that Wheel of Fortune can't actually see it on the screen there, unfortunately. So it looks like Wheel of Fortune may have come down Horizon Canopy might have gone up. It's uh, hard to tell. So it happens. Prices fluctuate. That's the way it goes. So I'm going to continue scanning. Um, I don't know if you can notice. I actually messed with the settings on my camera finally. And maybe I'll actually look good for a change. Um, but anyway, just more scanning. More looking for decent stuff. I'm trying to... We've broken even, so you can see how high we can get here. Um, here we go. Uh, okay. Seismic assault. Bink. Um, what happened? Oh, okay. I can't find it on the list. How much was it? <laughs> was it under 50 cents I gotta look at the okay pause Let's see now I can go sort by name seismic assault okay it was 86 cents so it stays on the list um, we're doing TCG player low <laughs> so uh, we're going down to 50 cents on on this stuff goblin chieftain Buck 70, different edition. Let's put it in there, the M11. $1.50, it stays. It's going to go in the, the buck or so um, pile. Thought Prison, only seven cents as an uncommon. It comes right back off. Um, Deserted Temple from Odyssey, 11.25. That's a keeper. And a Diabolic Intent, ought to also be a keeper six bucks there great so here we go uh, grave pack from stronghold awesome 12 bucks there I was not expecting that so um, when I bought this and looked through the pictures I didn't go you know really fine tooth comb the pictures so a lot of this stuff is still surprise to me as well um, wildfire I think we checked before and it was yeah, it uh, it comes off the list. Uh, same as Royal Assassin. Wheel of Fate from Time Spiral. This one should be a little bit. Yeah, five bucks. Let's see. Time Spiral 489. That's in that pile. Diabolic Edict. Good card. Seeing a little play. Should only be like 25 cents or less. Yeah, common. It's not one that I'm going to pull. Tide of War from Champions. Ah, it's bulk rare. There it shall go. And blood clock will probably be the same. Just under fifty cents. Not a, not gonna make the list. Show the last kappa. Same deal. Yep. Demir Mesha Nations probably not. Uh, here's a Majay Jin from Revised. I don't know if this will be fifty cents or not. It is a rare. Yep, that's not going to count. I got a bunch of those in my bulk box. Underworld Dreams might be a buck or two. Yeah, this was actually a ninth edition. We'll we'll switch it. Actually, over two bucks. Cool. Uh, Wild Canter probably not. Seismic Assault again was like eighty cents. Bink. Here it goes. And a slow bad Goblin Tinkerer from Dark Steel. Nope. Well, let's check the other version. Yep, 25 cents. There it goes. All right, next page. Oh, some KCIs. Those would have been nice a few months ago. And these baubles. I'm not sure who thought 
they were worth putting a ton of them in here. So that's definitely kind of strange. Um, and they were very visible in the uh, listing, so kind of maybe turn some people off. This, that, that's, that fear is from Unlimited. Interesting, it's probably just a common, right? But as an Unlimited, it's 19 cents for a common card. Uh, it's one that I will pull as interesting. Um, Wayfarer's Bobble, I, I know we scanned this before. Slightly not bad for a common, but I'm not going to make the list. Whisper Silk Cloak, I think. Yep, under 50 cents. I know we had scanned those before. Uh, Stealth Suit, no. The Azoria Signet. Some of these Signets, yeah, okay, over 50 cents. We'll keep that one. I hope it stays, actually. And the bobble and a fourth edition black vice. It is gonna have trouble seeing it. Revised edition would have been 25 cents. Fourth is gonna be similar. Chromatic star, that's worth pulling. Yeah, for a uh, common 425 for a chromatic star, that's decent. Bobble, stealth suit, and a skull of Orm from the dark. Uh, I don't think this is a big one. Uncommon. 54 cents. We're going to keep it. Alright, and a Cart Clan Ironworks. Good old KCI. Um, still five bucks on the low. Um, they've, of course, been banned. So now they've come down. And But I'm sure they're still useful, right? I don't know. I don't get to play, so. Cloaks are too low. Yep, yep, another cloak. Okay, next page. Trucking right along here. We've got a lot of pages still to go. Hey, there's decent stuff here. Okay, cool. Okay, the draw new Lich Lord. Bink, uh, was that under 50 cents? I gotta look. Um, let's see here. Yeah. Okay, it was 95 cents for the Lich Lord. Um, Bink, there's another one. Uh, Ageless Sentinels from Scourge. 10 cent rare. Oh, make sure. Oh, stay up to date here. Uh, Chrono Savant. Even less, 9 cents. And then the Lich Lord was 95 cents. This one's seen some play. Whoa. That's not too bad, even, if, even with some play. Personal Incarnation from Unlimited. Um, that's definitely like... He yeah, like heavy play. Uh, I don't think anyone would take that as moderate play. Let's see what it's going to scan at. So, fourth edition would have been four cents. The unlimited version. That well, says nine ninety nine, but uh, clearly not going to get that for it. Um, maybe more like three, four, maybe five, pushing it. But it's interesting that it's in here. Hmm, is there any more unlimited stuff in here? Uh, Eternal Dragon was, uh, I don't know if we scan one of those. 50 cents, it's a keeper. Uh, I'm gonna change the condition on the personal incarnation. Oops, I'm in foil. <laughs> Let's call it heavily, heavy played. It, it doesn't register a change on the TCG player app. Um, it definitely would on, um, a buy list, but that's what it is. Uh, Steel Shaper Apprentice, under 50 cents. 
Baron Glory from Future State. Under 50 cents. Uh, Eternal Dragon. That oh, was 50 cents, that's right. And a uh, Maelstrom Gin. Nope. Got some bulk stuff here. Uh, that one's no, but Mycosynth Lattice has been on its way up. Whoo! That's the low price? Hold on a second. TCG player low, 57.49, a mid of 65. Trade in 24, so the low price is maybe a realistic price to sell it on eBay or something. So you tell me down below, yeah, I know you will. But it, currently it goes right there. That's a that's a keeper. A chroma. A couple bucks. Um, there's the couple buck pile. Whoa! Legend stuff, Unholy Citadel. All your black legends gain bands with other legends. Pretty useful card, maybe in 1994. Today, not so much. It's an uncommon. Um, but love seeing legends cards. Uh, Shizo, Death's Storehouse. That's a winner, too. 11 bucks there. Cool. Uh, Barl's Cage, card from the dark. It's a rare. But it's uh, not going to make it on the list. Limduel, probably not either. Ah, buck 61. And a Magus of the Disc. Which of the Maguses are any good? I'm not sure. That one's okay. Uh, great. Awesome. Awesome and great. Next page is a bunch of Dark Steel Ingots and Whisper Silk Cloaks. Just interesting, honestly. Still, I'm kind of changing my mind. I don't think this is something that Goodwill would have done to put a bunch of dark steel ingots in a binder like this. This clearly was some player, and for some reason, they just loved dark steel ingots and Wayfarer's baubles. I don't know, they must have been useful to a bunch of decks that they were making at the time. Uh, Dark Steel Ingot, is it 50 cents? It is not. Well, hold on. Let's see the Dark Steel version. 25 cents. I wonder if there's a trade in on it. Let's check. 17 cents I could get for all of these. So, um, eventually they'll go get buy listed. Dark Steel Pendant, probably the same thing. Uh, I'll just make sure those actually don't go into my bulk box. Demir Signet, 80 cents there. Um, yeah, Pendant, Cloak, Demir Signet, Bink, and another Signet. Those were on the back side of that page, obviously. Well, it's not that one. Let's actually just get rid of that one and add another one there. 80 more cents. Okay. What else? Okay. Some snow covered stuff. Great. Mm. Pyrexian Arena. That's not bad. Okay, apparently back when dry eyed arbors were just a dollar. But they should be a little better now. Twelve fifty, that's the low again. See I remember them being about ten bucks for the mid. Fourteen ninety nine on the mid. Sixteen on the market. They've gone up quite a bit. Trade in high. Twelve bucks. So these things are going up. Uh fantastic. A couple of the, I think it was two of those, yeah. Um Add another one. Yes, I'm taking them out of the sleeves because that's how I deal with them. Simic Growth Chamber is probably not going to be worth it. Nope. Rot Farm. Nope. Snow Covered Mountain. Cold Snap. Buck 50. To 
fix up my pile here. Ah, uh, snow covered forest. Oh, it's not 50 cents? Well, I'll pull it here anyway. Uh, Phyrexian Arena from 9th edition. 8 bucks. Alright, 9th edition. Still 8 bucks. Great. Loving it. Nettlevine Blight. Not familiar with this card. Enchant creature or land. Enchanted permanent has at the end of your turn. Sacrifice this permanent and attach an Edelvine Blight to a creature or land you control. Ah. Bye-bye to your board state if it can last that long. But it's a bulk, so must not be very usable. Dread. Oh, this is a cool card. For six, you get a six-six with fear. Whenever a creature deals damage to you, destroy it. When Dread is put into a graveyard from anywhere, shuffle it into its owner's library. Yeah, that's hard to play around, probably. Four bucks. Not bad. Uh, the forest was only 40 cents, but the mountain was a little more. We got one, two of those. Uh, a couple of forests and another forest, so cool. We're really getting getting there all right let's see more pages out of the spider there's still half this thing left Right, Noble. No. That one's not going to count. Let's see, we got a Draining Welk. Probably ah, a couple bucks there. Sure. Last word. 50 cents, it counts. Vivid Grove is not going to be 50 cents. It's been reprinted a bunch of times, right? Uh, Reweave. Nope. Another bulk. Uh, or is this factory? I think uh, those always fool me. They're actually always a lot less than I think they are because the mine and the tower um, and the other one, <laughs> I forget, is uh, what you want, but not that one. Day of the Dragons. No, 10 cents. Might have been good at one time. Terramorphic Expanse, Day of the Dragons. Maelstrom Gin. Is it Signet? 33 cents. Not going to do it. Uh, the Gin. Anthroplasm from Urza's Legacy. I feel like that's not a big one. It's not. I think we actually scanned one before. Safe Haven from the Dark. Nice. I don't know if that's... 77 cents. Uh, it's a keeper. I'm not sure. I don't think that's a reserve list card. Probably not. Part the Veil. No. Uh, Bobble again. Azami. Just under 50 cents. And another Bobble. Okay. Next page. Uh, got some foils here. And uh, look how new this is. So this stuff isn't all old. That's great. Well, I don't know if it's great, but it's interesting. Got a Shinka. Mm. Cool. Well, onslaught. Okay. Diminishing returns from alliances is going to be. It's a rare. I'll pull it as a bulk rare. Not going to count. A hey, uh, foil swamp from Lorwyn. Look at that. That is gorgeous. A good condition. That's near mint. 
it's almost packed fresh so this stuff has all been really good condition so got that going for me 51 cents for that foil swamp it stays on the list bring to light not so much uh hey foil island and again good condition champions foil 89 cents prairie stream there's a buck hey a foil snow covered swamp great as a foil six count them six dollars emblem of the war mind whoops um creatures you control have haste and you have to enchant a creature you control interesting i don't know if i've ever seen that one it must not get a lot of play but it's 79 cents as a foil oh my gosh sun Petal grove those are always good three bucks um i don't know sure sudden shock let's check this one out been reprinted time spiral foil buck 87 it's keeper Ooh, foil intervention packed great would definitely rather have a pact of negation in foil that's not bad either and a waste can it be 50 cents no no it cannot uh drowned catacomb from ixland so this collection a lot of older stuff but they kind of filled out with some newer things here so <laughs> i'm loving it snow covered swamp from ice age 65 cents it stays and a foil onslaught swamp in good condition Let's see if it can recognize it onslaught foil 95 cents harbinger of spring as a foil no 11 cents but it's a foil i'll pull it for my foil box uh, more foil swamps. Okay, I've got a myriad in. 44 cents. Not going to make it. And a time spiral. $0.37. Cents. That's funny how some of the lands are not quite as much. And the Shinka Gatekeeper. Also, probably not going to do it. Nope. But it's a foil. I'll keep it. All right. Next page. That was the end of the foils, I guess. Okay. Hold on. Okay, trucking right along a steam flogger boss. 40 cents. Not enough. Roaring slagworm. This must be the the bulk rare page. Bullshock Battlemaster. I don't even need to look. I know it's not. Form of the Dragon from Scourge. There's not a whole lot out of Scourge, right? Oops. Hold on. Whoops. All right. Pause. Go back. Scan. Do this thing. And we're back. Mind Blaze. Mind Blaze. Get this thing out of the way. Oh, I ruined it. Okay, hold on. Wow. Um, let's try the next one. Okay. Pact of the Titan. Nope. I, I broke the TCG player app somehow. I'm at to start over. Hold on. Pause. All right. Hold on. Close.
start it. All right, try again. Mind Blaze. There we go. Uh, nine cents is a rare. That's a no. Um, this one was going to come off. Pact of the Titan. That stays. Temporal Adept. Nope. Uh, Mindless Automaton from Exodus. I don't think that's going to be much. Yeah, no. It's no uh, Hangerback Walker, right? Uh, Misform Ultimus, another bulk. Yeah. There's another one there. Earth Surge. No, those are nothing. Ultimus now. Unyaro Bees, I think we checked before. Cryptic Gateway ought to be a little bit. Buck 90 there. Cantor. Karn's Touch. No. It comes off. Trinisphere. Oh, that's something. Um, yeah, a little bit of play. It's honestly still near mint. 44 on the low? I know, everyone's going to say, that amp is just garbage. Ah, uh, that's wrong. I know everyone's going to say, oh, your app is broken. The mid price, 47. The market, 33. So, I don't know. The low is going crazy. The trade-in is only 17, so... I don't know what to tell you guys. I'm doing the low price. It's showing it 44. I know that's probably not real. They've been probably trading for like 30 something, right? So take it with a grain of salt. I'm not trying to pull a fast one here. Cryptic Gateway again, just a buck and an automaton. That's it. Um, these look like. There's not going to be much worth looking at there. Yep. I'm just going to skip that page. Yeah, we got some okay stuff here. All right. For more nomad, cool full art nomad giant that's gonna be not worth anything, but it's there. Stronghold overseer, not sure. Thirty cent rare. He who hungers. Twenty cent rare. Uh, Massa ghoul is another cool full art card from Future Sight. Wish they did a, these a little more often. Um, Soul collector. Yeah, the full art cards are just special. It's like maybe they just don't want to waste them on commons anymore. So it's understandable. Aether Snap, Nomad, uh, Bloodshot Trainee, probably not. Yeah, no. Grave Scrabbler, is that going to be worth a little bit? Because it's got Madness. Oh my gosh. The lowest cost you can get. Deep Cavern Imp. Nope. And uh, an Abyssal Horror from Starter Set. Starter 1999. Um, boy, it costs a lot. When Abyssal Horror comes into play, target player chooses and discards two cards from his or her hand. Hmm. Not bad. Is it worth anything? No. Tw wait. Ah, it's a reprint from Urza's Saga, I see. The starter version, 25 cents. It's uh, it's no Grim Tutor. Uh, Kuro, Pit Lord. Yeah. Been reprinted to nothing. The Cloak, the Ghouls, the Disciple. Oops, not much here. Bobble, Lightning Angel. No. Um, technically a rare, technically a rare. We're gonna just put them on there. Okay, next page. Got some stuff from the dark. Cool. All right.
Okay. So the Dark is a cool set. There's not a whole lot that's really big other than Blood Moon and Preacher. I didn't see any of those. So let's see how some of these end up. Dark Sphere is over a buck. Diabolic Machine. It is not, but it's a card from the Dark. I will pull it. Take it off. Riptide, I think, is a common. Yeah. Let's see what else we got. Another Diabolic Machine. Karma from 5th edition. It's an uncommon. Uh, Fountain of Youth. No. Not going to rate. An Orc General. Sacrifice an Orc or a Goblin to give all your Orcs plus one plus one until end of turn. So that's probably doesn't see a whole lot of play. Yeah, nobody cares much about orcs. Um, but it's interesting. Cole Golem. Pay five for a 3-3. Three, three, and then you pay three and you sacrifice it to add some red. Mm, probably not. Yeah, no. Living armor. Nope. Nope, didn't get any of the big cards out of the dark. Well, there's a few left here. Another machine. Another armor, another machine, another golem, a book of wrasse. Also not a big one, probably. <laughs> and some marsh goblins. Nope. Uh, Barl's Cage, I think we scanned that one before. It is a rare. Uh, hold on, let me check. The one from the dark, 35 cents. Nope. Are we... Of course we're frozen, sure. Cool going. Barl's cage. Those come off. Okay. Alright, I'm gonna pause here for a bit. Okay everyone, I'm moving on, continuing on. Um, back at it the next day. Um, this was kind of interesting. Just last night, Wayfarer's Bobble, um, the commander version, spiked. Um, and it kind of brought up the Fifth Dawn version a little bit with it. So they're uh, still only 38 cents for the low price. So it's going to come off my list, but I'm going to pick them all. They're going to stay out of my bulk box. So uh, I'm going to start with that. There was a bunch of them in here, I thought. No, all these growth chambers and... There we go, some Wayfarer's Bobbles. Might actually do the same with these Whisper Silk Cloaks. They're actually not bad. And the waste. Actually, this whole pile probably <laughs> needs to at least get put through the... Uh, the buy list and see if they can get a little bit. Pretty sure the ingots and the cloaks are going to do a little bit. I'm not sure about these other ones. The bobbles, bobble, cloak, bobble. That's it. Okay, so I'm just going to pull those. The rest of that's really actually bulk, I think. So set these aside somewhere else. Okay, now moving on to the next page. <clears throat> yeah, more chanceries and uh, lands from Dissension, looks like. Uh, those I really don't think are worth anything, so I'm not even going to bother taking them out. Next page. Um, okay, that's okay. We'll pull all this stuff out. Hard to get into them when they're sleeved in there. Just saying. All right. Sabra, Queen of the Golgari. Okay, it's been reprinted. Let's see. It's the original. It's over 50 cents. It's Keeper. 
And a Karn's Touch, I know we skinned it before. It's really low dollar, so it's still a bulk rare. Paradise Mantle, that's a good uncommon. Yeah, low price, buck 67, so it can go in that pile. There's another one. Just scan that one up being Vettelkin Engineer. Uh, it's just a common, probably nothing much to it, yeah. So that's gonna go over there. Uh, welding jar, these should be okay. Yeah, buck thirty for the low price on a common from Mirrodin. It's not bad. Angel of Despair is actually a one center on the reprint. Seventy-seven cents. I'm gonna keep it. Goes in the pile. Um, Bink. Oh, gotta move this. Stuff showing in there. All right, uh, Fog Bank from Urza Saga. Um, yeah, not enough. It's one that I'm gonna pull over here. Um, put it in. I'll tell you what. This will be my possibly buy list for more than a penny pile. Here's another Angel of Despair. In fact, here I'll just add it. Plus one there. Great. Uh, and there's another one. Um, fog bank over here another fog bank cryptic gateway. I know we had scanned one of these before Being it's um, into this pile probably Hypnox is gonna be a bulk. I'm pretty sure we Had scanned one of those before Genesis chamber not sure Nope Nothing big there Oops. There we go Hypnox again, Kuan Ogre Ascendant flips over into something else, and it's not going to be big enough. Fog Bank again. Okay, next page. Uh, more stuff in the dark. Um, might even be. I think Sorrow's Path is a good card, actually. Relatively good. Let's get in here. So, Living Armor was just a common. Willbender. Time shifted. It's an uncommon or a rare? Uh, I guess it's just an uncommon, it says. Uh, those are just going to be into that pile. Uh, Undertaker. Common. Time shifted. I don't know. Should I pull the time shifted commons? Probably not. Wow, this one's got some problems in the back. What is this? A Delph's Cone from Fallen Empires. Problematic. Yeah, it's not good. It's actually like a reserve list card, I think. Now nah, it's a common. That's nothing. And it's messed up anyway. The growth chambers are nothing. Oh, I thought it was an Arcbound Ravager for a second. Arcbound Reclaimer. Not sure. Um, yeah, I don't think are any of the arc bounds worth anything other than the Ravager. I'd like to see a Ravager. Scarwood Goblins. Just common. It's off the list. Um, another Reclaimer. Sorrow's Path from the Dark. I think this is a rare. Yeah, buck 89 for that, sure. Uh, another Cone. A Marsh Goblins is just a common, right? Yeah. So it's Carp in the Dark, we'll pull it. Um, Cancer, no. Ace and Bureaucrats. That's not a rare, right? It's a fifth edition. Is that a printing issue? It looks a look really off color. I don't really think it's anything. Bissell Nocturnus. Mm, no, it's not a mask of Avacyn. I got some glare issues here, I think. Let's try it again. 75 cents. That's Keeper. Another Sorrow's Path. Being in another Reclaimer. Okay. Next page. Oh, another Trinisphere. Great. So, yesterday when I scanned these up, I was very shocked to see how much it was. Apparently it had spiked. Just that day.
All right, Skull of Orm. I think we scanned one of these before. It's a bink. Didn't catch how much it was. Sheldock Isle. The lower one, 697. Not bad. Dark Heart of the Wood, another common. Pretty sure, yeah. Hercules Recall from 5th edition. Not revised. 5th. Still a buck 80. And a Decree of Silence. That's good too. Great. Uh, another Recall. Just add it. Duplicant. Shapeshifter. It's a little bit. Craw Giant from Time Shifted. It's just an uncommon. I guess I guess I'm pulling them over there. Moon Ring Mirror. That's nothing. Uh Aether Mage is touch. Mm, the Dissension version is also not anything. Trinosphere. So I'm gonna actually find this on the list so I can add it. There it is. Um, currently got a low price of 44 bucks. So I'm going to add one. And my total jumps quite a bit. So another one of those. Great. Um, Lindula's Vault from Alliance is great. It's a good card there. Three bucks on the low price. Where's his armor? Is bulk. Yep. And the signets, yeah, there's not much to them. I think I'm gonna pull those to see how they do. Blade of the Six Pride, nothing much there. Ashes of the Fallen, now a couple of those. And a Armageddon Clock from Revised it is nothing much either. More pages. Oh, good. Uh, this is, oh my gosh, this is still looking really, really good. Um, kind of surprised that this lot went for only $4.93. But then again, I wasn't going to go a whole lot higher because it was still kind of unknown. Here we go. Exhume from Urza Saga. Pretty decent common there and the desert time shifted desert can it see it will it see it no all right add a desert oh I didn't even see it on the list um don't know how much it was I'll have to check it later Vesuva though was a awesome card Scan it. Yeah, it was like 30 some bucks at this point. Another card I think that's going up in price. Mouth of Ronum. Not really. Altered Dementia. Yeah. Tempest Rare, 679. This one's got a little bit of play. Uh, definitely like some to moderate. Oh, there's actually like. Some junk on that. It's either heavy play or yeah, I don't know if anyone would like to call that one heavy play. Let's see. Will we count it? Nah, I'm gonna take it off the list. It's not a good one, so there you go. I'm gonna pause here. Okay. Uh, Mouth of Ronum, Trade Roots. Nope. Reflecting Pool. Wow, 12 bucks. So, uh, Wasteland's not the only good land out of Tempest, I guess. Good, cool. A couple of those. Two Reflecting Pools, great. Uh, Quicksand, no. Summer Bloom. Bink, I think it was a little bit. Vesuva, again, awesome. But bing. There goes another one of those. And a Cabal Coffers. Got a little play, just slight play. 34. Awesome. 
So there's Summer Bloom. How much was that? Um, I don't know. Was it even 50 cents? Can't do the math. Skull Clamp. Four bucks there. Great. Um, Seismic Assault was really not a whole lot. And Life from the Loam. Ten bucks. Oh, hold on. Still ten bucks. Great. So there's still some good stuff in here. Trade Roots was nothing. There we go. Alright, next page. All right. Okay, another welding jar. Bing, just one. Um, summoner's pack, cool. Great. Yeah. Yeah, I think this one's been kind of creeping up for a while too. Excellent. Uh, Expanse, no. Safi Eric's daughter, cool. Time spiral. Um, decent card there. Well of Discovery. That one's a little played. Only nine cents off the list. Um, Tinker. That's decent. Uh, another welding jar. Bing over here. Ley line of anticipation. Oh my. Um, I don't think is that one of the big ley lines. Let's take a look. That's pretty good. Sixteen bucks. Any other ley lines in here? Let's find out. Trick bind. This one's got some edging. Bing. It was a little bit I can't remember. Lightning Greaves. And this one is definitely like moderate play, maybe even heavy. But we're going to count it. Intervention Pact. There's a buck. Coat of Arms. Cool. Yeah. Um, it's ninth edition. Same thing. Just plugging right along here. Welding jar again. Another trick find. Bing. Parallel thoughts. I can't remember. Yeah, it was nothing. That one goes over here. Stasis. It's a fourth edition stasis right there. Yeah, three bucks. And that. And a drain power from fifth edition is technically a rare I guess it's more than technically and it's over 50 cents so I keep it great next page here we go again oh yes another mycosynth lattice and this is really shaping up to be great here Oops. All right, Grave Shell Scarab is probably nothing. Even the other version, yeah, no. There it goes. Mass of Ghouls, Corona, the False God, 70 cents. Nope, Avatar of Woe. It's okay for a time shifted. Pain's Reward, that should be a little bit. Buck 50, Garrick, Wild Speaker, the original from Lorwyn. That's like mint. Yeah, five bucks, cool. Uh, Sulkinar. Nope, nothing much there. And a uh, Mireki Re Berit. Close enough, right? 79 cents. 
Avati Ildol. There's a buck and uh, another. Did I already find one? A Mycosynth lettuce? But bing! Yeah, I think it's about 60 bucks now. And again, spiked like overnight. Uh, amazing. Uh, that's. What else can I say? It's awesome. Welding jar. Bing. Frexian Arena. Ninth edition. Sure, 825. I'll put it right there. Um, the Scarab was nothing. I always forget. Uh, yeah, it's nothing, right? Again, and another Limdol's Vault. Great. And a Nefashu. That's interesting. There we go. Alright, next page. Ah, uh, Wayfair's Bobbles. And they're not going to count, but I am pulling them. The signets. No, not enough. Cloak, pulling it. Sunglasses of Urza from Revised. Is that a rare? Or is it an uncommon? It's a rare. Revised version, not any much better. It's one that I'll pull. Bobble. Cloak. Oops, that one doesn't go there. A bunch of these stealth suits. I don't know what was the big deal about those. Plunge into darkness. That's okay. It's a buck. Bobble here. And a, oh wow, a drowned from the dark again. I think this is just a common. Yep. But I uh, will pull it. All right, more decent cards here, looks like. Evacuation from 7th edition. It's not much of anything, right? Oh, I was wrong. A couple bucks. Cool. Living Hive. Mm. Mirrored inversion, even less. Bulk. Seat of the Synod was less than. Oh, wait, hold on. Yeah, it's less than 50 cents. It's a. Buy a lister though, right? Stonewood Invocation. Nope. Um, see the Synod. Fate Spinner. Four bucks there, cool. Um, Proteus Staff. I guess we found it before already, I forget. So I think they were like six, seven bucks now. Invocations. Another fate spinner. Just add it manually. Troll aesthetic, those are bulk. Yeah. Yep. Hidetsugo's second right. Whatever happened to the first right? Am I right? Brainstorm. It's a fifth edition. Can it see it through the sleeve? Oh, it's, whoop, hold on. Get over there. It's not the beatdown box version. 
and it's been printed a bunch of times. So the fifth edition version is only 43 cents. It is not going to count, but I definitely pull it because it's worth more than like one penny. Okay. Sure. There we go. Another Proteus staff. So being there it goes another Proteus staff but be oh okay it found the Proteus staff and then saw it as something else for a second uh, char is a bulk rare great next page is more good stuff okay great unbelievable honestly um, <clears throat> I know I saw all this stuff in the pictures um, but I should have really got my calculator out I I knew it was more than what I paid for it but I didn't know it was gonna be quite this good this is a uh, this is an awesome awesome buy I mean if you can't already tell <laughs> Especially since this is all low price. Uh, at the end, I'm going to switch it and see what it would look like at market and see how it goes. All right, uh, let's take it out. Thirst for knowledge. Babink. Oh, let's check the original. It's even less. <laughs> I'll pull it. Maybe I'll get a couple cents for it. Urgolem's eye, probably not. Thirst for knowledge goes over there. The eye, Ashnod's altar, nice looking fifth edition one there. N A, it's not the Renaissance version, is it? Fifth edition, two ninety nine. It's a keeper. Uh, Maelstrom Gin was nothing. Diabolic Intent is already on the list at like six something, right? There it goes. Skull Clamp is a good one. Wand of Ith. From the dark. I don't know if that's a rare or not. It sounds like a rare. It's an uncommon. Um, nothing really big out of the dark from this binder, which is interesting. Mind Slaver. Did we already find one of those? That almost seems like. Okay. I guess that was the first one we found. Uh, Cabal Coffers. Another one of those. Thing. 39 or so. And another one. Being amazing, amazing, amazing. Greater Harvester. Uh, nothing good. That one's got a little bend on it anyway. And another one. So okay, got several pages left here. Um, signets. No, I think. No, these are really nothing, right? So we're not even gonna look. Next page. Um, okay, pull this stuff out. Okay, redirect. Nope, redirect it to the bulk pile. Arcane Sanctum. Not gonna be 50 cents, I don't think, even for the original. 39 cents, but it's a buy list attempt pile. Diabolic Vision, I think, is just an uncommon. Yeah. Um, the Sanctum, the Dread Boar, this one's like got some pick problems to it. It's 80 cents. Jungle Shrine. Uh, uh, I think like one of these lands is kind of okay, but it's not either of those. I thought it was the Sanctum. I don't think that's really anything. Heroes Podium. 8 cents. Um, the Seaside Citadel, let's check that one. It's a little bit. Oh, 49 cents. Not enough. Caves of Coilus. 
55 cents different version 63 and we'll take out this other one there we go hand of the Praetors buck 25 come on Guild gates or no citadel sanctum thopter assembly <laughs> nothing much there citadel contagion engine that's a good one yeah wow on a low price nothing's been like I thought 10 bucks mid price forever 17 on the mid so another one that's spiking great glad to have it pain seer no that one didn't spike and a root bound crag those are always good a couple bucks there awesome all right next page Okay, next page. Got some newer stuff here. Interesting. Somewhat newer. Angel Heart Vial. Not much there. Okay. Um, ooh, a foil Dreg Reaver. Just a common. As a, as a foil, I'm sure it's nothing much. Yeah, five cents. So, but it's a foil. I'll pull it. Tesa. Um, yeah, she's not a whole lot. It's over there, right? Dragon's Maze version, even less. Right? Okay. Obsidat's aid. Yeah, not much out of Dragon's Maze. That's great. Blood Baron of Viscopa as a mythic. Not even 50 cents on a mythic. Ouch. So, definitely low price is reflected there. Let's see what the mid price would have been. 90 cents um, would be your mid. 45 cents is your market and trade-in value but it's a mythic card i'm gonna pull it uh student of warfare a foil one this might be okay let's see if it can see it sometimes it doesn't like it. there we go student of warfare three bucks on the regular as a foil it's 344 so not much of a multiplier on that uh that's funny uh, but it's still pullable swell of growth i'm sure is not much either nope that one's off and that one's off there we go it's a foil i'll pull it over here sure uh sifter of skulls that's a low dollar rare right there sylvan advocate probably the same yeah, no. So this one has seen a little bit of play. What is it? It's a snow-covered mountain from Ice Age. And I thought we had seen one of these before. Nope, buck 99. Minus condition, faded retribution. Nope. Uh, Sphinx of Magosi as a foil is probably still not a whole lot. 32 cents, it comes right back off. Oops, my Cabal Coffers are flying around. Uh, Dragon Lord Ojutai. Some dragons attack here. A couple bucks there. Boltwing Marauder. Meh. That's a promo version. Nothing much to it. Harbinger of the Hunt. These um, kind of a little beat up, these. Tarkir ones. Yeah, this one's really bad. That one's so low, I don't even know what to do with it. Uh, Audric and an Elusive Tormentor. 80 cents. Tormentor is not. Okay, I'm probably going to have to clear all this so I can 
deal with the next last few pages about four pages left I don't know what's on them we're gonna find out stick with me be right back okay I cleared this off so I can finish up there's about four or five pages left here um, still some good stuff in these pages this uh, has been so far a good buy cannot complain oops Alright, Ray of Command from Ice Age. I don't even think that's a rare. It's just a common. Repay in kind. Nope, that's a bulk. Miracle Worker. Destroy target enchantment card on a creature you control. A 1-1 one, one Miracle Worker for one white. Uh, is that an uncommon? Just a common. That's very specific. Destroy an enchantment on your own creature. Bog Amp, another, that's a common, and it's beat up. Inkwell Leviathan. Nope. Echo Mage, I think is a bulk as well. Paints here was also. Forge Stoker Dragon also probably is. Now Chromanticore. That just sounds like a bulk mythic all colors to cast it 46 cents that's gonna oh nope sorry it goes here in the bulk pile champion of stray souls another bulk mythic i think yeah 20 cents on that necromancer's covenant from is that shards of alara uh which one is that alara reborn 29 cents so and just a uh, a bulk page here. Well, not completely. Extractor Demon. Nothing big there. Eldrazi Conscription. Been reprinted in Ultimate Masters. Uh, the original is even less. 289. But worth pulling. Hedron Field Purists. No. Hero of Iroas. No. Whoop. A full Art Swamp from Zendikar. Not quite, but um, I'm going to pull it right there. Karametra. Okay, finally. Got something decent here. And a guild, I think, is just a, a nothing. Yeah, it's just a bulk there. Okay, next page. Some foils, nothing that great. Make it to the disc. Come on. Megas of the Disc, I think we had scanned a Megas of the Disc already, so how are we going to get in there as a foil? It's just going to add it as a regular one. I have to actually go and find it and see if it's even worth messing with. Is it even in... I have to alphabetize. Sort by name. Where's the Magus? I know this is going to take forever. Magus of the Disc. Was 99 cents on its own. As a foil. It's $2.99. We'll drop that down to one. And then... One regular Magus of the Disc is now on the list. So... <laughs> just what you got to do sometimes um full art foil i'm sorry not a full art but a foil forest time spiral 25 cents not going to count and a bile urchin i can't imagine that that's much no all right i might have to just 
skip through some of the well twinning glass as a foil is probably okay right or not 67 cents stays on the list mist form dreamer can it even be seen through a sleeve and a foil no come on yeah this is why I fast forward this stuff it takes me forever to get it done for one and then it's just wasn't even worth the time uh, these are not gonna be worth scanning Terramorphic Expanse as a foil might be okay let's see time spiral foil 248 okay that was worth looking at. Wastes, I don't think was. It's a buy list. Um, that's going to be just a bulk foil. Twinins Elite as a foil. Eh. $8.50? Really? Um, that's a low price. Mid of 11 Okay, well, I guess somebody wants this in their elves deck. When Dwinnin's Elite enters the battlefield, if you control another elf, put another elf out. Yeah, okay. I guess that makes sense. So, um, that's good value on a foil. Great. Vine Snare. Should I check? Yeah. Four cents. And a silver mirror as a foil. Mirror it in. Foil. Ah, uh, good for someone's mirror deck. Very subtle foil. Look at the lightning in the back. It's pretty cool. All right, cool. Next page. Oh, cool. Another gemstone mine. The organization on this binder is just all over the place. That's why I originally thought this was an attempt at hosiery by the Goodwill, but I really just think... This was someone's trade binder and they loaded it up and didn't really care about too much organization because you got stuff that's all over the place. So it seems like it was a legitimate binder. So glad about that. Rakdos Pit Dragon. Nope. Probably not. All right. I'll check the original. Ascension, 21 cents. It's off. Trash. Pulse of the Forge. Yeah, so. Living Hive, I already forget. I know we scanned it. It was nothing. Beacon of Creation. Is that a buck, maybe? Can it be scanned? Ugh. Sleeves. Am I right? Bing. Okay, I think it was like over a buck. Flame break. Nope. Oh, same thing. Great furnace. Uh, check the mirrored in version. 35 cents. It's off the list. Um, pit dragon, but a gemstone mine. I think we had found these before already. Time spiral version. Time shifted, sorry, 15 bucks. Great. Did we not already find some of those? Let me check. Yeah, gemstone mine. There was already three on the list, and so there's a fourth one. Fantastic. Uh, hey, uh, Birds of Paradise, it's a revised version. Deep Sea Kraken is nothing really I'm sure uh, the BOP boy I wish that was an unlimited but it's just a revised 948 still very decent living hive I know I scanned it already and it's nothing terror terror engineer darkness Bing, and we had seen those before and they were like six bucks or so lure of prey from mirage might be a rare it is a couple bucks cool and a hive nope okay 
just like a couple more pages here okay decent oh wow yeah that's good stuff on this page Again, a foil forked branch garami, I'm guessing is not really anything that great. 41 cents, it's still a foil. Arachnus spinner, probably not. No. The Leviathan, I think, was nothing. Mitotic manipulation. Another bulk. Now, Dictative Erebus should be a little bit. One of the better cards out of Journey into Nyx. And at uh, seven bucks low, that's not bad. Dictative Helio. 12 cents. A Phyresis. Another foil. Common. Buck 37, it stays. Broke 1500, Glacial Fortress. Great. And more contagion engines. And a mere welder. One. Hold on. Two. These were like 13 bucks each, right? Or 11 or something. Three more contagion engines. Fantastic. Uh, Mace Enchantress, I think, is going to be bulk. Yeah. Oops, we got the mirror welder. You want to play mirrors? Probably not really anymore, huh? Rights of flourishing. It's a little bit. And a door to nothingness. Counts. Another flourishing. Mm, different version. And a Quicksilver Gargantuan should be a bulk mythic. Yep, only 45 cents there. A Rexial the Risen Deep, huh? Maybe a little bit. Get commander card here. We're awake. Buck 68. Okay, last page. Are you ready? I'm ready. Yeah, still some decent stuff here. Okay, last page, Herald of Torment. No. Another redirect I think was really nothing. Yeah, no. Gina Wishes, not even gonna bother. Titan Forge, not gonna bother. Hellkite Igniter? No. Realms Uncharted. Not. It looks like the same deal as the Gifts Ungiven. She's just hanging out there. Three bucks though, that's not bad. Uh, we got a Counterspell, Revised. You see it? Not a fourth. Low price on a, on a Revised Counterspell is 99 cents. We'll take it. Blood Soaked Champion from Cons. Come on. So blood soaked you can't even be scanned. Alright, we'll do it. Bink. 20 cents. All that for 20 cents. Uh, another trick bind. Which was like 3 bucks or so. Another Realms Uncharted. Magnetic Mine. Seven cents as a rare by itself as a foil. Nineteen cents. Not gonna count. 
Um, okay, fine. Amir Turban. That's a buck. And a Birds of Paradise from 10th edition. I'm sorry, M10. There's a difference. Um, great. It's awesome. Five bucks. Hold on. That's the reprint version. M10. Still five bucks. Great. And a Full Art Mountain. Probably not going to worry about that. Spirit Bonds. I don't think it's going to be 50 cents. Nope. Thunderous Might. I highly doubt it. Sundial of the Infinite. A couple bucks there. And the last card. Flip it over. Sphere of the Suns. Okay. As a foil from Mirrodin, it is going to be not 50 cents, so that's how it is. Uh, I'm going to go through and make sure that I got rid of everything under 50 cents real quick. Okay, that is it. 217 cards ending up on a TCG player low price of 1571 on my original gamble of 493, including the shipping. Slam dunk, people. Uh, I was not sure how this was going to go. It was strange how it was organized. Uh, it didn't really look like a proper collection. It was definitely, I guess, a trade binder. It is really just all I can uh, describe it as and just not not a whole lot of organization to it for some reason so um, great happy awesome oh one last thing I was gonna do is just for fun and see what this would have been on the TCG market price um, you know just to see let's do that Boom! Would have been 1941. So maybe we're somewhere in the middle there, but let's call it 1500 and some. Three times my money back. Who can argue with that? Feel free to do so down below if you'd like in the comments and uh, like and subscribe and all that good stuff. Thanks for watching. Tragic MTG. See you later.